and welcome to the um, seventh for IGCC Maths tutorial. And today, oh, well, this will be a short tutorial on speed, distance, and time. Okay, so this is on 1.7 page 30. Page 30. I'll just put a division down the screen. We'll need it today. So, what do we, we do our formulas in blue. So let's start by making our formulas in blue. So, well, do we need to draw a, a... Too small. A D, E, S, T triangle. It's got G at the top. S over here. And T over here. And do, you might ask me how to use how I use this DST triangle. So how we use it is what we do is we put our finger over what I'm going to calculate. For example, the speed, and we have a D on top and a D on top bottom. So this tells us that S equals D over T. For D, D equals S T, and T equals D over S. So these are our formulas. And let's try a question. Mm. The main problem with these is the units. Man runs for five two zero zero meters. These are always done in metric. Um at speed eight point zero. Ooh, how do you travel like eight kilometers an hour? Eight kilometers an hour, or as we like to learn maths and science, K M H to negative one. Same thing, but we use this a lot more in our science and our A's maths. So it's just good, good to get nice habits. So. We need, what else are we trying to find? Find distance. Find D. We know that D equals ST. So D equals uh, D is equal to the uh, speed and the, uh, so D equals S times T and S is um, 8 kilometers an hour and speed is 5 so about 5,200 meters, but wait, we can't, our formula will not be right if we put that in, because that'll tell us how many, that'll find his, uh, yeah, we need to express this in kilometers, because our, uh, our speed is in kilometers, our distance also has to be in kilometers, so it's actually 8 times 5.2, which is then equal to, So are we finding the time? Find the time. We already have a distance. So T equals D over S. And we know the distance, as we previously calculated, is 5.2 kilometers over speed, which is 8. 8 would give you 0 0.65 hours. It doesn't want hours, though. Right? On our question, it says it wants the time taken in minutes. Now, on the calculator, there should be a funny button that looks like 0, looks like 0, and it's like got comma, and then comma, comma. Now, that's the button we use. So we put 0 0.5. What we do is we've actually done. 0 0.65 equals 0 0.65 and if we use that comma button it turns it into 65 it's 39 which then tells us it's 39 minutes if you don't have one of these comma buttons that's okay just to multiply by 60 and you'll get a similar answer so um these we just remember that to change our units, and sometimes we actually have to change the units ourselves. Uh, so let's just 
and sometimes we have to change the units ourselves. Like... D over... So, as you change... Change 54 km over H into, um, we're changing 54 kilometers an hour into meters a second. So what we first need to do, we know we need to convert to meters. So 54 km H negative 1 is equal to 5 four zero 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 meters meters an hour negative one so that's meters an hour and we divide this by 60 to get meters a minute get, get m m negative one and then we have to divide that by 60 again, which is equal to dividing by 60 times 60. 0 divided by 60 times 60, which is then equal to 15 meters a second. And that's about it. Um, but So the next chapter is actually 1.8, and that's using a calculator. And I can't get a calculator on the screen. And I, and so we can't really do that chapter about using a calculator. And it's pretty easy to use a calculator. They're pretty uh, self-explanatory. And neat. I can't use a spreadsheet either. Although I might show a special one on that on a computer another time, okay? But, uh, so that is, uh, the fine, that's it for, um, chapter one of the book and next time i'll see you in chapter two algebra one but for now this is um i'll see you in, in the next time okay we will be getting into negative numbers but i'll see you there okay bye